Finally here at 7, early risers and night owls. You're in for a treat. There are interesting things to see in both the morning and night sky this week. Newswatch 16's John Hickey shows us what to look for in tonight's Skywatch 16. There's interesting things to see in the morning and evening sky this week. I had an online chat with Tom Wildonner from the Dark Side Observatory in Weatherly to help explain what we're looking for and when we can see it. We started with what to look for in the sky Wednesday morning before sunrise. You'll see the crescent moon and you'll see the planet Jupiter right over top of it. So if you see the moon, just look for the brightest object over the moon. That's the planet Jupiter. You can see this with a naked eye, no problem, but... If you have a nice pair of binoculars, you can go out and take a look at Jupiter. And on the morning of the 7th, you will be able to see four Galilean moons of Jupiter. You should be able to see two little dots on either side. Galileo first discovered Jupiter's moons in the 1600s. He preferred the numbering system, so he numbered the moons 1, 2, 3, and 4 because he didn't like the names that were chosen for them. In the night sky, we'll see two prominent constellations. Gemini and Leo shine in the south to southwest sky. When you look at Gemini, picture yourself as an ancient sailor. They use Castor and Pollux, two of the stars in the constellation, as a sign of a good or bad trip ahead. If they were sailing and they were able to see both stars at the same time, they know it was going to be a safe or a good trip. If something happened and something blocked out one of the stars, that would be an omen of bad, bad things coming. Shifting your gaze south and higher in the sky, you will see Leo. Leo is, is called Leo the Lion. And as you mentioned, it does have a fairly bright star called Regulus. It also has what we call an asterism. So an asterism is a small group of stars that looks like something common. In the constellation Leo, we have what's called the sickle. And to me, it looks more like a backward question mark, which is the head of the lion. Tom adds that finding the sickle is the easiest way to find Leo. With this week's Skywatch 16, John Hickey, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.